How to find the battery charging cycle count on your iPhone? There is bunch of video who claim that battery health is maintained 100% after 5-6 month of usage. Is that possible? Somehow possible. Let's discuss and the theory of battery cycle stand for battery health. Go to setting, scroll down. Tap on battery. Tap on battery health. Here you can see the battery health. This is the simplest way to see the battery health of your iPhone. Here on the graph you can see the detailed usage of battery on iPhone. The complete activities of battery is monitored by iPhone. That you can see from here. Here you can see which app consumes so much battery here. The first thing you have to check is what is actually causing the greatest battery drain. By this way you can exactly find how much power each app is using 100% by game 100% with game playing game with charger connected so i play game more than other activities not only will this help you to manage battery life it might actually help you manage your actual real life too You have to make sure that share iPhone analytic toggle on. If share iPhone and watch analytic is off, then that log was not found on this analytic data section. This data was collected by Apple server. There is bunch of data can be found on this analytics data. Navigate to setting. Privacy. Analytics and Improvements Scroll down to the latest date or last file that begin with log aggregated. You can't find from here so you have to follow the process below. If you are Mac user or you have Mac, follow the procedure. Navigate to setting. Privacy. Analytics and improvements. Scroll down to the last file that begin with log aggregated. Select file and tap on share icon right top side of the screen and airdrop to Mac. Here you can see data on Macbook. Open it and use Ctrl F key to find and type cycle count. You can see the battery activity and usage of battery Apple mention on the official web page after 500 cycle your battery is operating with 80% of its full capacity. You can see your battery cycle count by iOS system. The number immediately following battery cycle count is your cycle count of your battery. How to see from iPhone? Navigate to setting. Privacy. Analytics and improvements. Scroll down to the latest date or last file that began with log aggregated. Open it.
Copy all log. Hold your finger to last copy. Open the note app and paste the content of the file into it. Tap on three dot and tap find in notes. Type cycle count. The number immediately following battery cycle count is your cycle count of your battery. Your behavior on the use of battery and charging affect the battery health of your iPhone. That means battery health are hardly affected by your usage habits. As a cell phone repair technician, I would like to share some pro tips to prevent the battery health. We don't claim you always makes your battery health 100%. We are here share some useful tips that helps you maintain a higher percentage of battery capacity and battery health of your iPhone. You can't restore or recalibrate your battery health with these tips. For that, your iPhone will need battery replacement. Below iPhone X to up model, battery need to be programmed. Extend your battery life updated. Find more battery consume source. First, you have to check is what is actually in the greatest battery consume source and how much power that each app is using. Go to setting. Go to battery. Below, you can see the graph and the list of the application which consume battery most. Battery uses data. Use Wi-Fi to download data. It uses less power than a cellular network. Decrease auto lag time. Go to setting display and brightness here you can see the auto lock time decrease your auto lock time as low as possible this setting controls how quickly your display is shut off and your phone is locked while not used no display on while your iphone is idle i am here select 30 second instead of one two three or five minutes or never Turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. From control center, we turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But while you go to setting, there you can see the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth was not totally turned off. They are on searching mode. So make sure that you have to turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from setting. This is the another way to save battery life. Turn off the Wi-Fi when you are not using it. Searching for Wi-Fi connection, eat battery fast. iPhone user is amount of power sourcing for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signal. Use Wi-Fi to download data. It uses less power than a cellular network. Use Wi-Fi and less of using cellular data.
the most common thing use wi-fi to download it uses less power than a cellular network why cellular data to perform there is so many system to be activate an iphone that related to network section the network section consume more voltage than other section while you cellular data phone makes heating that eat battery very fast that you also experience on daily usage turn off location service go to setting go to privacy and go to location services location services uses gps bluetooth and wi-fi to point your location that process eat battery more in process turn off location services low power mod go to setting go to battery and select low power mod when your iphone get down to 20 percent it will tell you and give you the option to turn on low power mod low power mode shut down a non-essential power draining features including automatic download like mail won't automatically downloaded content and background app refresh but you can still use your phone for texting phone call it easy once you charge your phone low power mode will turn off automatically reduce flashlight brightness control center swipe up from top right or swipe down from to top then long press the flashlight icon and make the adjustment as low as possible using your iphone flashes a flashlight is the best way sometimes but it also can drain your battery dark mode go to setting display and brightness it also uses more battery so if you turn on dark mode elements of your iphone's color scheme will be inverted which helps save phone battery in this mode you will see white text on a black background that is good for your battery and eyes too shut down your drop go to control center and tap and hold here you can see the airdrop option is on so make sure that receiving off while airdrop is on bluetooth and wi-fi is searching for receiving so that consume battery more so better off your drops not in use while the network is weak that time battery consume more than usual so i recommend you that better turn on airplane mode while signal is low if you want to save battery life these are the pro tips by this you can save even more power by simply maintain that habit if that stuff is helpful don't forget to like share with friends and subscribe to support us hello everyone this is akash from the gsm solution and peace out till the next time